Hi Shati Lines, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. I know it's been a hot minute. Some of you know the reason why I was missing in action. It was because I'm in the middle of moving. I have not quite settled into the new place yet, but it's been too long. I missed you guys and we have so much to celebrate. We have 5,000 subscribers on YouTube now and we've been doing this for the past four years. So I started the Phoebe Way, that time I was calling it La Deutsche Vita, that was July 2021 during Corona right after the George Floyd issue and now we are here consistency has paid off and 5,000 followers and subscribers over 12,000 on TikTok and just a little bit on the 1,000 on Instagram so guys if you have not yet followed us all over the social media platforms on Twitter on Facebook on Instagram on YouTube, on TikTok, please do, okay? And I really, really appreciate all of you so much for your support. I can't stop thanking you for the motivation, for the questions you send me as ideas for the next videos. Yes, please keep your ideas coming and I will definitely work on them. All right. Without much delay, let's get into the legal changes in the month of August. Things that are going to affect you as a foreigner living in Germany. Yes, this year, the Phoebe way we started talking about Ausbildung and also offering Ausbildung coaching services as well. So if you know someone who is doing an Ausbildung or thinking about doing an Ausbildung or starting an Ausbildung in Germany, this video is for them because things are going to get better. They had, there has been a new law that's going to change things for people who are going to do Ausbildung in Germany. So this is one of the main aspects of this new law that we are going to talk about today. Also, we'll be talking about taxes, about the cannabis law. There has been a new addition. And so do not go anywhere. Grab yourself something to drink or maybe something to write as well. And let's get started. Let's start with the tax declaration. So the deadline for the tax declaration for the year 2023 is the 2nd of September of this year. This is for those who are not using the services of a Steuerberater or of the Lohnsteuerhilfeverein. So if you are using anyone from the tax um, professionals, tax advisory professionals, then you do not have to do it by the 20, the 2nd of September, sorry, but you don't have to do it by the 2nd of September. But if you are doing it by yourself, please make sure that you have to submit latest by the 2nd of September. It's actually the 31st of August, but because it's going to be on the Saturday, it's been extended to the first working day, which is the Monday. So please bear that in mind. Also, there are lots of deductions that a lot of people do not know about that will make their taxes less, so they get more returns. I'm going to put a list of that in the next slide so you look at, th at this. And if you want me to do an elaborate video within this month before the deadline is over, just comment tax video below and then I will do that, okay? Now, let's get into the GC part for people who are doing Ausbildung or who plan to do Ausbildung. Since the 1st of August, this new law has come into play. It is called Das Berufsvalidierungs- und Digitalisierungsgesetz. Das Berufsvalidierungs- und Digital hey, Digitalisierungsgesetz what a tongue breaker vocational validation and digitalization act so what does this mean this law one main aspect of this law is that if you are someone who's already been working in a field without having the professional qualifications or haven't gone to university for it if you have been working for 1.5 times the amount of years that the person would spend in university for this job it is going to be recognized as the professional qualification so then you'll be, you'll be seen as someone who went to university for that job so for example i am working as a business assistant or i'm working as a bank yeah let's say someone in banking as a bank clerk and you need to do an house building for this job for three and a half years and per chance of three years sorry and per chance i've been working in this field without the qualification for the past four and a half years you know 1.5 times the amount of years that you need to be trained in this job for and i am doing that then i'm going to be recognized as someone who has been trained for it you get it so if you have been working in a field without being trained for it and you want to have and you want to have the recognition from january 2025 you can do it Okay, from January 25, 2025, you can do it. And where do you go? You go to IHK. So IHK is the Chambers for Industry, Commerce and Craft. They are going to make sure 
that you can have this recognition done but there is a restriction you should be above 25 years if you want to do this you should be above 25 years of age next thing this same law is also making it easier for younger people to get into their Ausbildung. So now you can have a digital contract, you can have other means of learning like tablets, iPad, whatnot. It doesn't have to be the paper form of learning anymore. So this has now been what modernized. In the same breath, there's more chances for younger people to gain Ausbildung or to even be supported during Ausbildung. So the government is saying someone who is disabled when it comes to learning or has learning difficulties, learning disabilities, someone who is socially disadvantaged or someone who lives in an area with limited opportunities for training for Ausbildung can get more support from the government. Also, employers who are going to be offering Ausbildung places for the young people can get 3,000 euros more. In the same, and the next great news for people in Ausbildung is a lot of people ask me, Phoebe, which Ausbildung should I do? I don't want to go into medical, um, into the medical field. I don't want to do Pflege. I don't want, to. yes. Apart from Pflege being one of the most sought after professions or the most after people, there's also the possibility of a tier. So people who take care of children and train children. So this is more like the preschool age. You can also look into that. But this time around, I'm here to tell you that people want to become stonemasons, people want to become painters or in the field of painting and varnishing, they can actually now get more money. So in the first year, now this is what they are going to be getting. In the second year, this is what they are going to be getting. In the third year, this is, going to, this is what they are going to be getting. And this is for the stonemasons, the maurer. This is what they are going to be getting. Now for the painters, this is what the painters are going to be getting. First year, second year, third year. So if you are interested in these occupations or in these trainings, just look out for those and go research on those. If you need someone to help you with your application, the Phoebe Way is here for you. Now, let's get into BAFOC. So BAFOC is also something that is actually the state support for students and BAFOC is also offering more money. When it comes to the allowance that the people on the BAFOC are going to get, students with BAFOC are going to get, it's been increased by about 20 euros. Also, their rental allowance has been increased as well. Another thing is that if you are someone in with from a low-income family, the moment you gain admission, you are going to get a thousand euros. That's, that's very just helps me out go to school <laughs> so if you don't want to do house building and you want to go to university instead look into that and write to BAFOC now with the BAFOC allowances getting going higher you should also know that the international students might also have to keep a higher amount for their blocked accounts currently this is the amount that they have to do I think it's about 11,000 11,900 or so because in a month it should be around 990 yeah but if they increase BAFOC it means that the international students amounts will also be going will also be increasing because it's that's what it's based on okay so keep that in mind if you are watching and you have someone who is an international student coming into Germany let them know that this amount is subject to change and it might change next year let's get to cannabis when it comes to cannabis the new law is saying that if you are someone who smokes or uses cannabis and you are driving now the police has the authority or the right to conduct a blood test with this blood test they want to see how much of the THC which is the component or the potent component of the cannabis drug or the cannabis plant and they want to see how much of this component is in your bloodstream okay if it's more than 3.5 nanograms per milliliter then you are up for a fine that can go up to 3,000 euros. So if you know that you are under the influence of cannabis, alcohol or any other thing, just stay off the roads. Do not strive because this new law is what would make you get a fine, okay? 
and if you are a new driver you are not allowed to take anything you cannot drive under the influence of anything except water and juice all right so no alcohol should be found in your blood by the time you are driving or during the time that you are driving feel far and finger god makes you must nicht bleiben all right guys we have come to the end of today's video if you have any questions do not hesitate email me comment them down below and if you don't have any questions and you found this helpful please do leave a like a thumbs up or just share it to anybody who would who would need this okay who you think should watch this thank you so much for your support again and i'll see you same time next week yes we are back with the consistency cheers